Hi, can I get the two new fish sandwiches? Yeah, one uh, fish and cheddar and then the classic, I think. Yeah. And that's it. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another Waiting Wasted Food Review. So, tonight I'm at Arby's trying their fish uh, sandwiches, fish and cheddar, and then we got their classic. Now, recently I did the White Castle uh, fish sandwich, the panko breaded, uh, and I was disappointed, but I watched my buddy, uh, Brandon Clark, the garbage disposal. I watched his food review and his came out really good. He enjoyed it. So I'm pitting them head to head against the White Castle panko breaded, which I have one of. I got the three for three. So let's compare price points. This fish sandwich is $1.79 as is, but you can get three of them for $3. Now, let's check the weight on this. So, this is on milliliters, grams, ounces. Yes. So this is three ounces with the box. So if I had three of these, this would be $9. Oh, sorry. Let's get to the price point of the fish sandwiches from Arby's. These were two for $6, so basically $3 each. So it would be a comparison of three of these to one fish sandwich each. Watson, stop it, man. I'm doing math. I'm not that good at math. Chill out. Let me think. All right, let's weigh this out. Now this came out to eight ounces. All right, let's try the other one. This came out to 7.6. So for more bang for your buck, I would go with the uh, White Castle actually, because this is, let's try weighing this without the box. Let's see how much that came out to. 2.7 ounces. So two, four, six, three times seven, is 21 uh wait 2.7 2 6 3 times 1 uh all right so maybe they're about the same i mean let's do one without the wrapper 7.3 all right white castle is slightly more bang for your buck all right let's get with the Taste comparisons. I want to try the fish and cheddar first. This looks interesting. So it's basically the fish sandwich with cheddar. Now, the fish sticks out. So a nice piece of fish there. Hey, 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 off. Wesson? No, you wait. Let me try first. So they basically put nacho cheese on this. Let's give it a bite. Is there an, and there's mayonnaise and lettuce on the bottom. All right. Texture-wise, it's not crunchy like the White Castle was. It's a bit soggy. Oh, okay. See, there's no crisp to it. And there's a little crisp to it. Flavor-wise, it tastes like your standard frozen fish uh, that you can toast or whatever. Just put cheese, lettuce, tomatoes on a bun and you got your fish cheddar sandwich. Now, let's go back to White Castles because uh, I gave them a 
thumbs down. Now, let's bite into this. Now, this tastes like it has a little bit of Old Bay seasoning, but the fish that they give me just, it feels like it's old and dry. This one's not even crunchy. Like the last time I had it was crunchy. It's kind of soggy now. So, it's kind of gotten worse from the last time I tried it. Hey. Oh. I don't know, Brandon. That fish sandwich looks crazy fresh. Mine looks burnt. Like, look how dark it is compared to this color of fish. Like, it's definitely been overcooked. There's a bit more meat this time of fish meat, but it's still not a go for me. Now, let's try the classic mm -hmm. Arby's fish sandwich. This guy is something else. Look at the meat compared, compared to each other. Look at that. Off. Off. Hey. Oh, no. This isn't really crunchy either. But I enjoy the flavor of this more. Now, this didn't have too much tartar sauce. But I did ask for tartar sauce. And they gave me two packs. Um, and the tartar sauce here is good. Oh, all right. Now, these were all right, but these weren't winners to me either. At the end of the day, I'd rather go to McDonald's and get a fish sandwich from there. Um, I believe Burger King has a fish sandwich as well. And I remember it being pretty good as well. But not, I think McDonald's is still king of the fish sandwich. Uh, people are going to get mad. I'm just giving Weston bread. There. Here's the top of bread. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, these are all thumbs down for me. Each sandwich, the saving grace on this is the tartar sauce. It's got a nice sweetness to it that I enjoy. What? The fish itself. With nothing special, it's soggy. It's not crispy at all. Slightly crispy, just a tiny bit. I wish I got a McDonald's fish sandwich now, also, so you could see all three comparisons. But uh, yeah. I don't know what I don't know. Brandon must have had a really good location because. This is garbage to me. It's, I tried. This is the second time I'm trying. And it's gotten worse now. It's not even crunchy anymore. So. No. Sorry. Anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Wait now. What? Stop it. Stop it. Food. Review.
please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Share the video, guys, please. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it would, it would help a lot. Um, yeah, we're out. <laughs> Don't sneeze on the food. Deuces. I'll give you treats. <laughs>